Hi friends, welcome back. In today's session, we are going to perform CRUD operations with repository pattern in ASP.NET Core. For that, I am going to create a new project. I am using Visual Studio 2022. I am creating a new project here. I am selecting ASP.NET Core web application with MVC. We are going to perform CRUD operations with MVC. So this is my project name and I'm going to store in this location. I'm selecting the latest .NET framework. I'm creating project now. So I'm going to rename this as UI layer. This is our UI layer. I'm creating another project for domain. I'm going to select class library here. I'll name it as core. This will be our data access layer, which we are going to create our database entities and the DB context. We will create another layer for business logics. I'm creating another project here. Again, I will select class library. This time I will make it as infrastructure. Create the project. It has been created. I'm going to delete the existing default classes. So here we have three layers. This is UI layer and this is the core layer which will be used for data access and this will be the our service layer. You can call it as infrastructure also and the, here we are going to store all our business logics. In this session we are going to use entity framework DB first approach. Here one database available like CRUD with repository. In this we have one table called products. Inside the products, we have different columns like ID is a primary key, which we no need to pass any value. It is a identity field and product name, price, quantity. These are all the fields available and we are going to create a model for this table. For that, I will go to the core. I will right click and add a class here for our product model. Here I am adding product. This is a public class and I'm going to define properties here. Let's say ID. Another one we have as product name. This is going to be required. It's a mandatory. We have price which is decimal also we have another property called quantity this is also required field product name i will define with max length of 50 characters so in the database we have defined worker 50 so I am giving max length as 50 characters here then I am going to create app DB context to communicate with the database I am creating new class here I will make it as my app DB context this is the DB context name this will be inherited from DB context for this we have to add few namespaces related to entity framework core I'm going with the manage NuGet packages I'm searching for entity framework core here I'm going to install entity framework core 
which is having latest stable version install it here I'm going to install entity framework core dot SQL server packages it's installed now I can add the required namespace here which is entity framework core and here I can make it as public click on DB context go to the quick actions and I'm going to generate a constructor with options here we have to add our product DB set so product now to communicate with the database we need connection sync for that I'll go to the UI layer I'm going to app settings.json here I'm going to add connection string first we have to provide the connection string name here here we have to provide server then database name then we are going to use the windows authentication for that i can make it as integrated security as true if you are using sql server authentication then you have to use the username password here and finally we have created a https application so we have to use the trust server certificate as true and here we have to pass the database server name so here I can copy that here I have multiple SQL instances that's why I'm using SQL instance name also if you have single SQL instance then you no need to pass this you can pass only server name alone this is my SQL server name and this is my SQL instance name here I have to pass database name I'm copying from my SQL server I'll pause it this now we have to register this connection string inside our program.cs open the program.cs so we have to reference with core project for that I will right click on the project add go to project references here you can select the project reference because we have the database context and the model is available inside core project so that's why I added the reference now here I'm going to register my connection string services add DB context here we have to provide DB context name this is my DB context name options Here we have to provide options dot use SQL server we are going to use the SQL server here and here we have to pass connection string builder dot configuration so we have to get the connection string here and here we have to pass connection string name so I can take it from app settings.js this is my connection string name I can close it here now I will go to the infrastructure project here we are going to create our repositories for that I will create two different folders here to store the interfaces and implementations I am creating one folder for interfaces and another one I will create for implementations here I am going to create one interface I 
I'll name it as product repository it is going to be public interface here I will define all the methods to perform the CRUD operations first I, first I want to read all the products from the product table for that I will create a method here which is going to return list of products here I have to add the project reference I will name it as get all I need one more method to get the data based on the product ID for that I will create another method get by ID here we have to pause product ID I will create another method to update the data I will make it as add here we are going to pause the product model I'll make it as model and another method I'll create for update product it's a model finally we have to define finally I'm going to define method for delete the data again here I'm going to pause product ID for this now I'm going to implement this interface inside this implementation folder I'm going to create a class here to implement these methods I'll name it as product repository and I'll add it here again this is going to be public class which will be inherited from I product repository here we have to implement interface here here we will receive all the methods so here we have to correct this it is get all method which is going to return all the products from the product table so we have created three different layers this is UI layer which is used to create controllers and views we have created another layer for core which is going to be data access layer here we are going to store database entities and the app db context so here we created another layer which is going to be infrastructure and we can call it as service layer also in this layer we are going to create all our business logics here we created one interface and here we, de we define all the methods to perform CRUD operations so this is our interface we have implemented this interface inside the implementations folder so here we have all the methods so this is the basic structure of repository pattern in next session we are going to implement these methods one by one that's it for today if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching